Hi guys. Um, so I have been on a Skype call, um, or Skype calls for what feels like 48 hours. Um, this is what it looks like. So <laughs> I just wanted to share with you. Um, so essentially this is just a bunch of teachers and administrators and coaches and people up higher in the district, um, talking about what the heck we're going to do. Um, luckily for you guys, um, I got chosen to participate in writing the curriculum for English too, um, for this time being. So you know that going into next week, and we're about to talk what that's going to look like, um, I have your back. So I'm on the team, I'm voicing your concerns, and you can share them with me, and I will ensure that they continue to hear your concerns as we create these lessons that are going to be similar to what we do in class, but also accessible for you at home. Um, so first and foremost, you guys are going to be reading as per usual. Um, I know I posted some resources for you guys yesterday, but I wanted to share a few more. Um, I'm going to post this link in the comments of this video. This is NovelFreeReadOnline.com, and what it has is just a ton of really popular titles um, of young adult literature for the most part, um, and they have other stuff too, but it's all free online, and you can just download it on your phone or on your computer and read. Um, I know I posted Wattpad for you guys yesterday, but Goodreads also has lists of popular Wattpad books if you want to look into that as well. Um, I know a lot of people already read Wattpad, but if you haven't gotten into it yet, it's pretty freaking cool. Um, because of this situation, a lot of authors are also releasing free stuff. I follow Neil Gaiman, and he posted this. Um, if you don't know who Neil Gaiman is, he's the one who wrote, I posted some books over here on the side, Coraline, American Gods, Good Omens, Stardust, Neverwhere. Um, and he's got at his website, neilgaiman.com slash cool stuff, some free stories, essays, video and audio, things to keep you entertained. Um, he says amused or nervous, which confuses me. Sorry, Mia's crying in the background of this video. She really wants it. Um, I also had a couple of students ask me if I would post videos reading to you guys, um, cause I know we did that a lot in class and I don't want y'all to miss out on it. So I'm going to post some videos reading Cat's Cradle, um, by Kurt Vonnegut for my academic kids for next year. And y'all are welcome to tune into those, but I wanted to read something for you guys as well. So if you have any suggestions or if there's anything y'all really want to hear, um, let us just know and I'll start reading something to you guys. Um, Y'all are also going to be writing. Essentially, that's the easiest way for us to assess what's going on in your brains, whether or not you're understanding. Um, we can recognize your writing by now, so I know that it's yours. I can assess your skills easily, and I know that it's not plagiarized and that you're not cheating. So I can ensure that you're actually getting something out of the experience, hopefully. Um, and then also collaborating. So you'll talk in discussion boards. Um, we might have some other technology tools that we use so that we can collaborate together, but Basically, it's going to be back to business as usual. We're going to read, write, and talk to each other the same way that we usually would. It's just going to look a little bit different, um, and it'll be over a longer period of time. We're not going to get stuff done in 47 minutes. We're going to get stuff done over a period of a week, and that's okay. Remember that I'm always here to help you. I understand this is probably anxiety-inducing and stressful, and there's not a whole lot of details yet, and so it can make you nervous, but that's okay. We're going to get through this together and I've got you. So remember always that you can send me an email or a remind or you can comment on this video and I will get to you somehow or another and we can chat and I will help you figure out whatever we need to figure out. Um, I wanted to drop this for you guys too. I found this um, on Twitter as well with just some cute ideas for self-care and like taking care of yourself but also keeping yourself entertained. Um, and I think some of them are fun ideas if you're interested. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, this is another thing I wanted to share with y'all just to stay connected with your friends and maybe do something fun. There's a Chrome extension that's free called Netflix Party, um, and it will link you and all of your friends' Netflixes together so you can simultaneously stream, chat, and um, play and pause together so it all stays synced. And it's like you're having like a movie sleepover together, but you're still social distancing. So if you're interested in doing that, I thought it would be cute and fun. Um, last but not least, this started today. If you know of anyone who needs this information or if y'all need this information, um, beginning today and continuing only on weekdays from 11 to 1, you can drive up to the entrance of one of the following schools, and those are all of the elementaries there, um, and receive a meal for each child present in a vehicle. Um, the service is free to any child 18 years and younger, and you can't eat there, so there's no on-site dining. You have to take it out. 
um, remember in the coming weeks, you can send anyone that needs help my way. I'm certified to teach English 7th grade through 12th grade. I'm certified in um, English as a second language. Um, so I can help any of your friends. I can help your siblings. I can help anybody. Just send them my way. And I, I don't care that you're not my student. I'll help you out. This is a weird time and we got to work together to figure it out. So um, last but not least, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Let me know if you ever need anything and I will keep in contact with y'all. Bye.